problem is at this time of the year the corn is very high so here's the squall line you can see the edge of it it's sort of a dirty looking squall line um, and that has to do with the air mass just the structure of the storm a lot of this is mechanical forcing there isn't a lot of natural lift on this just because uh, the energy is low cape is only around 500 as opposed to uh, where it would normally be which is in the thousands 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000. Okay, here, here come the super high winds. We're gonna pull back over where I was. We'll get a good view of it. And uh, we'll see what we get for peak winds here since if I'm moving, it's gonna skew the numbers, which that's not cool. So there's a squall line coming in. Oh, ho, 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 look at this. Oh, here it comes. 108. Oh, it's gonna howl here. Oh man, it is just coming across like crazy. Oh man, oh wow, 140, 140 kilometers an hour. these power lines hold okay yeah peak wind 140 kilometers an hour holy cow I'll pan this around a little so you guys can see Wow. All right, I'm gonna have to call that in to Environment Canada. I'll just make that call right now. Let them know that we got a peak gust of 140 in this thing. Okay, it's, and that's it, it's blown past. That's the whole kid and caboodle right there. That was the action. Oh, wow, that was insane.